All right, guys, I got this Airbnb listing for y'all. It's um, going for 200 per night, and there's a, um, a $50 cleaning fee. We are at the beautiful Port Orford Head State Park. Doing a little hike. I think this goes down to the shore, but not certain about that. Find out. Let's do this. Yeah, I think uh, we might have, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but those like white slash tan things down there. I think those might be seals. Saw one of them moving. Maybe they're sleeping, chilling out right now. Some over there. I don't know. That is amazing out there. So you can see for 40 miles yep. in either direction. There used to be a watchtower attached to those footers there. For the Coast Guard. Man, that's awesome. Wow. Doesn't get much cooler than that. It doesn't. So those rocks sticking above the surface are actually called sea stacks. And so a brief over overview of how they're formed. And now they call this area the point of no return. So down there was a uh, lifeboat station. It was destroyed by a fire in the, in the 1970s. So an old U.S. Coast Guard boat. And um, here's some statistics about it. Self-writing. Um, service from 1946 to 1970. 23 grand. Well, back then. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Only one of these boats was ever lost in the ocean. Not a bad track record for the dangerous stuff that they had to do. Battle Rock Wayside Park, and this is the wreck of the Cottoneva. Only this, this was the only thing remaining from it. We made our way down to the beach, we're going to do some walking around. Oh, we have a tunnel. I don't know how well y'all can see this, but you got some starfish on these rocks. Got a couple there, a couple over this way. Very neat. And another one hanging out right here, waiting for that tide to come in. Actually, two of them right there. Nice. Or a three. Three or four. <laughs> They're all like stacked on top of each other. Well, got another tunnel. Tiny one. Wow, this is a cool area. <laughs> it's a really cool area. Another little tunnel or arch or whatever. You can 
kind of see some more starfish right in here. We are at the sea lion caves. So we are on our way down to the elevator that will take us into the cave. Haven't even made it to the elevator yet and um, we can see them already. So we just got off the elevator and we are down in the cave now. And there it is guys. They are all just like barking at each other. <laughs> They're just having all kinds of arguments and discussions and passing laws down there and everything. Here is the lighthouse viewpoint. Have some awesome you know, rock formations and whatnot right in front of us. And the lighthouse. Yep, and then the lighthouse way over there. Now we're back up at the top, of, or at the top, looking down at uh, another massive group of sea lions. And they're just chilling, working on that summer tan. Taking care of their babies. Yep. We are at the Luna Sea Fish House and Sarah just ordered the halibut and chips grilled halibut and I just ordered a slum gullion which sounds like a really interesting combination Let's see how it is when it comes out so here's the slum gullion Ooh, looking good that is a big bowl too and some good looking garlic bread and then there is the Sarah's halibut very nice yep Gets the approval. How about yours? Oh, yes. Stopped at the Devil's Churn. Here we hiked, we hiked down to Devil's Churn itself. And man, just the intensity of the waves smashing up against the rocks. So awesome. So cool. So they call this area Cook's Chasm. And this is Thor's Well. Unfortunately, the sun angle is kind of screwing up the shot here, but you guys can still get a really good idea. It's violent in there. Just this big open pit. And the water's moving around like a mosh pit. <laughs> and um, normally at high tide, this whole area is just flowing with violent water. Like we would not be safely standing here. 
But it's low tide right now, or low-ish, I guess. Low-ish. Although it looks like the waves are coming in hot. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow. Such a violent, violent coastline. I love it. And this, folks, is how you end a beautiful day in Oregon. That's all I gotta say about that. So that's it for this video, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Yes, please hit that button. Be sure to check out our previous videos and upcoming ones. Mm -hmm. Got plenty of more Western adventures coming your way. Woo <laughs>